As noted, Lance is here today. Lance, I know that uh, I know you're well aware of everything that happened in WWE with people being released yesterday. And my question for you is, did you ever receive a text message from John Laurinaitis alerting the world to you being released from this company? Yo, uh, 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 a mass uh, text. A mass test about others being released. No, I've never gotten one about you? Did they send one out when you were released? I have no idea. I didn't even get a text that I was released. He called me personally. No. Well, he sent out a text yesterday that said, Due to budget cuts, the following talent were released today. Braun Strowman, Lana, Buddy Murphy, Santana Garrett, Ruby Wright, and Aleister Black. Now, do we know, I would hope, the actual six people got notified earlier than that? I would presume that they were notified earlier, but I couldn't tell you for sure. Because that would be horrendous if all you got was the mass text. Yes. Just to alert everyone, these six names have been released, and you're one of them going, crap. So what do you make of this? I mean, uh, we talked about it yesterday. I was surprised by Strowman and Lana. I was less surprised by everybody else. What do you make of this? Well, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of different things that could be happening. And it could be just that, you know, Nick Khan is on a, I'm tightening the ship, I'm increasing profits, like, you know, as that's his goal. Much like when, you know, Bill Watts came into WCW with, it's like, trim, 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 we need to make more money or lose less money, whichever the case may be. And if it's just who can we cut, where can we cut, then... You know, the rumors of the sale and stuff could all be exaggerated or completely just speculation. But he's, you know, trimming the budget. And and the sad thing is that they have so many bodies that almost no one is irreplaceable. Like, there's some really talented people on that roster. But, you know, guys like Alistair Black, they haven't been doing anything with up until two weeks ago, oddly enough. But so it's not like the product is going to suffer but there's some really talented people that could have been used for so much. But, you know, they've got a lot of bodies. They they sign so many people that I'm I'm not surprised any time they trim now. Because I think they've probably realized that AEW is also at a glut of talent that they don't need to hoard um, to stop AEW from having talent. You know, I was thinking about this last night when Dave was talking about Braun's giant contract. And if you guys recall correctly, I don't know the contract status of of anyone. I don't know who has renegotiated or redone their deals or whatever. But I do know that when AEW first started up, I mean, there were a lot of people that, you know, they were worried about them going elsewhere. And so they signed them to much, much larger deals. If I recall correctly, I think that uh, that's what happened to Gallows and Anderson. Like, you know, there was some concern they might go elsewhere, so they offered them this huge money. But then they ended up cutting them. So if we're in a in a cost-cutting mode here, I wonder, like, ultimately, like, I hope no one else gets cut. But, I mean, a few, like, a little while ago, they said they weren't going to cut anybody else. And then yesterday they did, so... I mean, God only knows they could cut more people tomorrow. I wonder if there are people that uh, basically used AEW for leverage to get drastically increased deals. There were people that were that were getting offered double what they were making before. I wonder if all of a sudden, if you're not like a Randy Orton type guy, all of a sudden, like you could potentially be in danger because you renegotiated your deal at a time where they were signing everybody to huge deals. And and these, you know, releases could be a renegotiating, you know, strategy by WWE. Because that's the thing, you know, you talk about people that may have as much as doubled their contract. And then in less than a year, they went from working four days a week to one. And it's like, we're paying you double. You're working one quarter as much. I could see where they would want to restructure deals. And if you don't just immediately agree to restructure your deal... You know, they might cut people so that they can go out and see that, oh, maybe there isn't big money in other companies and they will renegotiate a different deal. I have listened to this noise like 300 times in a row, dying laughing. And I may go do that after the show is over because this noise that Seth Rollins played sounded exactly like the mummy's voice that they recreated on National Geographic. 
Scientists were able to mimic Nessie Amun's voice by recreating his mouth and vocal cords with a 3D printer. It allowed them to produce a single sound. Oh! <laughs> what? <laughs> it allowed them to produce a single sound. Oh! <laughs> I don't know if I could do it one more time. <laughs> it allowed them to produce a single sound. Oh! <laughs> the top comment on YouTube, I love when she says, ah! <laughs> if you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.